Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to join vCenter server to an Active Directory domain. You can see that I've already logged into my Jumpbox VM and I've got a session open into VCSA. I'm going to start by clicking on the menu, select administration. Users and groups is already selected. I'm going to click on configuration. And from there, I'm going to click on Active Directory domain. Right now, I'm not a member of an Active Directory domain, so I need to join AD. Provide the name of our AD domain we want to join. I need to specify an account that has permissions to join to Active Directory. Just going to use the administrator account in the bclass.local domain for that. Punch in our password and specify we want to join. We'll save that and we can see that we have now joined AD. You can see the note that we have to reboot vCenter for this to take effect. I'll open a new window into the management portal for vCenter itself. I'll log in here as the root account for vCenter. We've successfully logged in. I'm going to go to Actions, Reboot, and say yes. It's going to take about five minutes or so, and we'll be back once that's done. Okay, so vCenter is rebooted. Log back in. If we look at Active Directory domain, we can see that we are now a member of vclass.local. One other thing we have to do is specify that we're actually going to use vclass.local as an identity source when providing permissions. Click on Identity Sources, we're going to add. This is going to be AD Integrated Authentication, vclass.local domain, the one we're joined to. We can leave it use the machine account, and we'll say Add, and that's all we need to do. We can see now that AD Integrated uh, Authentication is an identity source in vclass.local, meaning that when we start setting up permissions in another lab, we will be able to choose users and or groups from Active Directory to apply the permissions. So wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.